on the show, you showed us both like a rock side and a bluesier side. Yeah. And um, I actually really like that one performance that you did. It's all right. It's all wrong, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. Really the good. Song, yeah. yeah. So, what can we expect from your future album? Is it going to be like rock or? It's going to be that. It's going to be. It's totally like what I kind of stuck to that kind of bluesy rock. Mm -hmm. Thing that I did, you know, so there's going to be some um, some tunes that rock out a little bit more, and you know, there's different sides of rock. There's like the Dave Cook rock, the Chris yeah. rock, but there's also like the Doors rock and Inex yeah. rock, because it's that like bluesy, you know. So it's definitely what um, my album's going to be, and it's uh, going to be some full on. We wrote this song the other day, actually, it's really good. It's um, it's it's really cool. Actually. Do you want to give us a little preview, maybe? Uh -huh. Maybe just a little preview. Uh, let me try to remember it right now. Is this recording? Oh uh, uh, yeah. First time I met you, the eyes were open, alone in the world, I treated you cold. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, oh so it's going to be, um, it's going to be, there's some of those kind of things on there, and um, there's some fun stuff, there's definitely going to be stuff to dance to, so it's going to yeah. be all those kind of like, uh, it's going to be all those kind of practices, I mean, practices, I should say, like, you know, right, a little bit dance a little bit um, a little bit slow like that so yeah. yeah so I really really liked your duets with Carly on the Ellen show <laughs> and then also like on the finale so are you guys gonna do any like future collaborations maybe how can you not want to sing with that girl I mean her voice is unbelievable so she makes me sound better so I um yeah as much as we uh we bicker and banter back and forth with each other like brother and sister <laughs> we do sound we do sound pretty neat singing together so I definitely think we're uh I definitely think, um, you know, when Carly does what I say when we're in the duets, we yeah. sound better. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> She's uh, looking at me right now. No, we're definitely, um, we're definitely going to do music together for sure. Okay, we're actually probably going to be doing something in September actually for a, uh, for a charity event. Oh, that's um, so cool. In Orange County, which we're probably going to be doing a couple of songs together. Yeah, so yeah. There's always things coming up like that, so mm -hmm. I love her. So let's say you are the producer of American Idol. Mm -hmm. What would be your dream theme night? Dream theme night? Well, I've never had a rock night, man. Like we, you know, we've had to like some of us have to get out of our comfort zones and sing yeah, country or yeah. or show tunes or whatever it is. So like, you know, for us guys like Dave Cook and Chris Daltrey and you know, yeah. Bo Bice and that kind of stuff, it's like, you know, get some people to sing some ACDC or something. Know. You know, something like a little bit hardcore. I think yeah. that would be hilarious. And just see how, you know, the opposite side, like the Chris Lee Cooks or the yeah. Kelly Pickers of the world or even Kerry would change like a rock song into their genre. Yeah, that and would be And it can be cool. done. Yeah. I mean, it's, they do it all the time, mm -hmm. so I would really like to see that. So, what thing that would be like your worst nightmare? Like you find out it's listening, like, oh no. I don't really have one. I mean, I love singing, I love country, and I love, I mean, I was looking forward to the Angelo Weber night, and I grew up on Neil Diamond, and I had a really good version of Mariah Carey, so, yeah. I mean, my, my music my music knowledge is pretty, is pretty wide, so, um, I don't know, maybe a Michael Bolton night. Oh, I don't know who that is, but yeah. Exactly. Michael Bolton? No? Yeah. You don't know him? No. Kill me, kill me. Oh! My mom listens to that stuff. Exactly. So yeah, I would yeah. like to do a Michael Bolton night. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do the people in Australia know about you? Well, do. The show went live there this year. Oh, cool. uh, It was only five hours delayed, so uh, it was remarkable. I could not believe it. Um, I went back there two weeks maybe after I got voted off and um, did a, they flew me back to do a whole bunch of press down there and I got off the plane at the airport and there was all these people with signs there. I was like, <laughs> you know, and they were getting like about a million, million plus people watching a week. So, yeah. I, you know, the country of only 20 million people, I mean, a lot of people knew who I was. Yeah. It was very weird, wow. very strange. So, you seem to be like, well, I've seen other interviews with like the idols and stuff, and you seem to be like the jokester of the bunch. <laughs> so, I was wondering, like, have you done any crazy pranks or anything? I got Carly pretty good the other night. I said a little, I, um, we were at this, um, at the Royal Palms in the desert, and uh, it used to be an old um, Spanish kind of like villa place mm -hmm. back in the 1900s, and, um, and I started laying the seed that um, it was haunted. Actually, so I told all the girls, and they're like, "No, you did." I said, "No, I did." I was speaking to one of the managers, and they said the maid quarters, which is where all the girls are staying, was haunted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and so they're like, "No, you you lie." And I said, "I'm just telling you what I know." You know what I mean? So then one night, Brooke actually slept in um, Christelle Cook's room mm -hmm. because she was scared. And then on the last night we were there, I was going to do more because I was uh -huh. setting it up, and then I was actually going to go start like scratching on windows oh. and, and everything. But I. I didn't, I thought, you know what, they're all going to like, if I don't get to sleep, and then it's the first night of the tour, they're all going to wake up and like, oh, I can't yeah. I didn't sleep. So I just, I got Carly pretty good. I went up to her door and scratched on the window. Oh. And I could hear her on the phone or something. She was, wait, what's that? <laughs> 
my back, and I was sitting there laughing, and then I did it again, and then uh, I ran away pretty quickly, but it was, uh, and she came the next day, she goes, who was that, was that you? And I said, no, what are you talking about? And she goes, about two o'clock last night, there was a noise at my door and everything, so, you know, you try to have a bit of fun. Yeah. But that's only the start of it, wait till we get, once everyone gets comfortable on the tour, that's when I'm going to make them feel uncomfortable.